Hey guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with another Fallout 4 Player Home mod. Now this one is called Oil Rig. This is a pretty cool mod, guys. We're going to go ahead and check it out. I've only, of course, seen the description of it and all that, but I just wanted to tell you right before we get into it, now this needs to be at the bottom of your load order. And when I say bottom, I mean absolute bottom. There can be nothing on top of it. The reason I know this is because I tried multiple times to put it in different places in my load order. If we kind of look at all of the mods that I have installed here, I wanted it to be up farther with all of my actual settlement mods. That doesn't work. You need to make sure that you have it all the way at the bottom so make sure that you have it at the bottom there otherwise it'll actually cause your game to uh, it'll freeze your player and you won't be able to move anywhere because the map won't understand what's going on so make sure you put this at the bottom of your load order that said we're gonna go ahead and check it out now guys I like I said I haven't looked at it yet but I have looked at of course the image there so I'm not sure where it is now it does say in there that it may not work on ps4 it says that it works on Xbox, it works on PC, but it may not work on PS4. So we are down by the castle. Let me pull up real quick. All right. So we're going to want to get to, it says right here, oil rig transport. So I'm not sure if this actually transports us somewhere. Or what's going on here? This is obviously right outside the castle. There should be a large oil rig here. Or I'm not sure if we actually have to go somewhere. Maybe we have to actually travel out there. Let's go ahead and check this. See if maybe there's a... A hatch or something we have to travel with? Huh. Well, after having quite a few problems with getting this mod to actually load, I'm wondering if maybe it just doesn't actually work. Um, it could be just, again, P being on PS4, this happens quite a bit. A lot of times there's a... Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Sometimes, as I say, there's a hatch on boats. Let's try this. This might be a different mod, though. All right, guys, it is not a different mod. It, it takes you to the Royal Rig. Okay, so uh, as you saw, the boat just says, when you, when you go to click on it, it just says Commonwealth. So it shows up like it's an actual settlement, but it's not. So don't get, uh, don't get confused. Oh, uh, we are Meyer Lurks now, sweetheart. So you can see in the background, we have the, the city there. I wonder if we can actually swim to it. Let's go ahead and check this out, though. I just wanted to real quick go ahead and look down here, see what we got. I like to look uh around mods, see everything. Let's go ahead and head back up. All right. Now, I have been playing a lot of Wolfenstein lately, so I, and yes, I realize I say that funny. Um, I may forget how to jump. <laughs> I keep doing this. I keep forgetting which button means jump. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. As you can see, it's starting to get dark in my game. That kind of sucks. I didn't realize it was going to get dark. Um, what I might do is, if once we get up here, just kind of take a look at it. Maybe we can, uh, can add some stuff and then maybe advance time so we can see it during the daylight. But I will say, so far, uh, it's definitely an oil rig. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and try to get all the way up here. I wonder if we can swim out to that boat. As always, the first thing I'm going to try to do with any mod is to break it, as well as to see anything else that's going on outside of the mod. So if I, if I can swim somewhere, I'm going to try to. Nice little player home area. Some stuff in here. I wouldn't say it's cheaty. There's not enough in here to really be to really be cheaty. Let's see, check this out. Oh, I think there's probably supposed to be a little tiny Meyer Alert Queen there. It's too bad you can't see it. I bet you it's absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and throw our Pip-Boy light on here. Get out of the way, Mac. And you railing. Here we go. Alright, I want you to get to all the way to the top of this one. I haven't seen a workbench yet, but I also haven't really looked for one, so I could have just missed it. It's probably up here, though, I would think. Let's see. Ah, yes, there's our workbench. Okay. Pretty good stock of stuff here. I haven't seen any enemies or anything, so I'm assuming that this is uh, fairly safe. In fact, let's go ahead and put away our gun. I do hear a cat. I hear a meow. Let's go ahead and head up. Am I to believe that there is a cat stuck out here? That just makes me sad. Alright. I definitely hear a cat, guys. Ooh, Mac. I, d I don't know if I like you sitting there, babe. Looks like you're going to fall off. All right, so I think this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and advance it to daylight just so we can see what it looks like in the daytime. Let me go ahead and do this real quick just so we can kind of get a view here. It's actually a very nice view, though, of the game itself. It's actually, uh, if you're like me and you love to take random screenshots. Oh, I love how it's uh, 
populating and depopulating in the background there. If you like to take screenshots, it's not a bad place to uh, muscle up some screenshots. It's got some good uh, some good sunset pics going on here. I'm going to go ahead and try to swim out to that tugboat. I'm also going to try to swim to shore, see how far we can actually get to the Commonwealth. Oh, there's two tugboats. Okay, I'll try to swim out to both of them. See how far we can get before it tells me that we cannot go that way. And then I'll also uh, ju just do a little bit of a check to see what we can build here, what we can get rid of, see how much we can break this thing, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, it is the next morning. Let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, it is a, it's always going to be a little bit easier to see things in the daytime. But it is nice when you're doing mods to just kind of be able to see them yeah, both in the day and in the night. That valuable gear you're lugging. Wait, wait. Oh no, it's just birds. I thought maybe those were uh, little robot statues for a second. I, I have a thing for those. I like to collect those little robot parts. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out, guys. Let's go ahead and go up to the top. What I really want to see is just the uh, the view here. I really like the view in this game. All right, so I mean the the actual or uh, oil rig itself doesn't look that different. Let me do this. What the hell was that for? Fun. That's what it was for. So we don't have anything on the on the uh, I was at forest floor <laughs> on the ocean floor here. Of course, we are actually in the ocean itself at this point. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get out here. I'm not sure we'll be able to jump on. At least it's the impression I got that we're in the ocean. It does say Atlantic. I've never actually really thought about, uh... I'm pretty sure we're on the coast. Right? I don't know my geography. I'm not seeing any way to get on this thing. Oh, that sucks. I really wanted to get on it. So you can swim out to the tugboats. Doesn't look like you can actually get on them, though. And they look identical. I was hoping there might be something you could do. Okay, let's go ahead and head back toward the oil rig. What I will do is I'll speed the fuck out of this, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and try to swim to shore. I'm going to see if, how far we can get, actually, towards the uh, main commonwealth. You can see it there in the background. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if we can get there. At least try to figure out uh, uh, where the, the mod boundaries are, and then we'll come back and try to do a little bit of building here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and speed up the video now, and I'll see you guys back in just a second. Alright guys, we are back in the Commonwealth, and it looks like the Commonwealth proper. I, I don't think this is uh, like a new Commonwealth or anything like that. It seems to be the one that we came from. This is pretty interesting. I, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think we would actually be able to swim all the way back. I thought it would give us an invisible wall at some point. Let's go ahead and just look out so we can't see where we came from. That might be uh, one problem with this oil rig. You can't see where you came from. I wonder though if we can swim back to it, I'll be honest. I kind of wonder if it's still, if it's just there? I mean, does it just appear? So where exactly is it? That's my, my next question. Where exactly actually is this thing? So let's go ahead and travel back there. Because it looks like this is where the oil rig transport moot, or we go to actually get on it. Um, so I'm not actually sure where it is on the map. I should have looked while you were there. So let me go ahead and we'll transition back there. We'll go ahead and check it out. I'm going to try to do a little bit of uh, building just real quick to see what we can build on it. Uh, Lately, my, my loading screens have been doing this. They're just black screens instead of being the actual ones you get to play with. Which is a little sad because I like to play with those loading screens. But we'll go ahead and check it out and just see what we are able to do. Um, one thing I want to do while we're out there is just to see how much of it we can actually scrap. Of course, as usual, I try to break every mod that uh, that comes to me. I try to break them all just to see what, what's going to happen. But I want to remind you, before we start trying to break the mod, I do have Scrap That Settlement and Scrap That Commonwealth installed. It's important that you guys know that I have both of those installed. The reason why is because if you don't have both of them, a lot of the things that you go to try to scrap, after you, if you install this mod and you decide to scrap things, you're not going to be able to scrap the same things that I can in this game if you're not using those two mods. And those, of course, are 
or PS4 mods. Uh, I'm sure they're on Xbox or in PC, and you guys probably even have something way better than that. But for us PS4 players, it's definitely something we often uh, get told to use a mod, and then we don't have it. So that is one you can get if you are on the PS4, so don't worry about that. But just remember that as we're looking through and as we're trying to break this mod to see how much we can get rid of. Remember that Scrap That Commonwealth especially is, is really going to be important. That's what's going to let you get rid of a lot of the different um, you know, pieces that, that are a little bit more subject, or oops, maximum number of saves, ignore that, that are a little bit more uh, specific to the game. So probably like this metal, junk, that kind of stuff, uh, these pipes maybe. I'm not sure if you would be able to install, or uh, not install. I'm not sure if you would be able to get rid of those if you didn't have Scrap That Commonwealth installed. And again, Scrap That Settlement, of course, is anybody who, who built settlements quite a bit. That is an extremely, extremely helpful mod. So let's go ahead and check this out, guys. Remember, we are on the Oil Rig Player Home. I know there's a couple little pauses in here, a couple black screens. Usually I try to cut all those out, but I wanted to go ahead and, and use that time to talk to you guys while we're here. So let's just see. So far, everything looks scrappable. We can get rid of the frames. And of course, remembering just that we have Scrap That Commonwealth and Scrap That Settlement installed. If you think I'm a broken record, I just want to make, you, just want to make, it sure, make sure you guys know. I've had a couple people ask me, well, how come you can scrap this? And I, I've said multiple times in the video that I have those installed. And people are still asking me, I can't scrap that. Why, why, you know, why are you able to scrap that? So I, I'm going to go ahead and belabor that point just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get up to the top here. That's kind of where I wanted to start. What I wanted to see was how far out this green border goes. How far can we actually build? Looks like it's surrounding pretty much just this area. I'm not entirely sure though. So what we'll do is we'll go to the top, try to build some stuff, and then maybe we'll go down to the bottom and see if we can build on the on the seafloor how far out we can actually build. Because from here, it's kind of hard to tell. It kind of looks like it might be farther out. It might not be. So we're going to go into USO. Of course, I, I use Unlock Settlement Objects. The other, if you any watch any of my settlement builds, it's very important uh, for me to have Unlock Settlement Objects. It really does help me build different and kind of cool settlements. It's something that I, I use quite a bit. I do not have the Place Anywhere tool. Somebody asked me that. I can't remember where. Um, it might have been over on Twitter. Somebody asked me if I use Place Anywhere. I don't yet. Um, I, I just, I never found it to be that useful. The rug glitch has worked fine for me, or using the column glitch. Um, that said, I'm not against trying Place Anywhere again. I, I'm sure that that mod has a, a good purpose. I'm sure it does, but I'll, I'll definitely take a look at it again. So obviously we can place whatever furniture we want. Let's go ahead and see if we can attract settlers. I know it says player home, but sometimes player homes can also attract settlers. One thing you'll definitely want to consider when you're going around here, though, is anything you del delete, you're probably not going to be able to get back, at least on PS4. Uh, P you know... I've had people who, who've watched these videos who are not PS4 players and ask questions about PC and Xbox. I have no idea. I don't have this game for PC, and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to play it. My, my uh, video card is, is complete trash. So, uh, you know, I've had people ask me if I'm going to do some PC reviews. I can't just because I don't have that ability unless I get a new video card. And unfortunately, those are a couple hundred dollars, so I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's adorable. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. I don't have that kind of money, and uh, doing YouTube videos doesn't make doesn't make you a lot of money, so it's definitely not something that's on my radar at this point. I am going to go ahead and keep it on PS4, but if you guys have better mods for people who are on uh, Xbox or that are on... Um Where's our green? Oh, it's all, way, all the way up there. Okay. If you have people who are uh, on Xbox or something else and you guys happen to know, like, oh, there's this really cool mod, you can do this, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I, I would love to find out what mods you know are available for everyone else of course these are always going to be from the view of a playstation 4 player um but definitely go ahead and what is going on there oh there's a bird marker okay definitely leave those in the comments if you guys know something so let me go ahead i just want to see how far out we can place this one of the things with with these kind of mods Okay, so it looks like that's probably our border there. So let's go ahead and try to build around our border. One thing with these mods, especially with a player home, you can build them, and if you really want to have to fast travel to get to them, which is kind of the pain in the ass. This is why I use Spectacle Island. I don't mind fast traveling to Spectacle Island, but I can go straight there. Something like this, it looks like we're going to have to actually go through that. Um, oh, which reminds me, we should look at our Pip-Boy over here. It looks like you're going to have to actually go through that hatch. So as far as you know, using it as a, a player home personally, it's not something I would do, but it is something that I would do to build a settlement. I would like to build a settlement here. My guess is, though, it's probably going to be like 
like a lot of mods, you're not going to be able to actually do anything with the settlement if you place it here. We will find out, though, if we can place a beacon and attract anyone. Now, I can use the USO spawner. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, uh, you can use that spawner and, and get people at your settlement immediately most of the time. Um, we can go ahead and check that out. But if you can't really use the settlement in any way that's functional, it kind of makes it pointless. It just becomes a, a builder's dream, which, of course, I am quite the settlement builder. That's what I like to do. That's uh, a joy for me in this game. I, I completely understand people who are pissed off. At Bethesda for kind of turning this into basically wasteland sims and, and to a certain point I agree but I do like to build settlements so I can't complain too much so it looks like you can build out pretty pretty far uh, we have a little bit you can see of our square here we have a, a pretty decent area if you wanted to actually build like a little floating city here you don't have to build just on the oil rig itself it looks like it's a very long maybe a, a rectangle there so not not too little of an area which is actually impressive I was expecting it to be a lot smaller, I guess, but it, I don't know. I also was expecting it to be huge because a lot of mods are huge. But I like this. It's a little bit more manageable. And, of course, you can you can build uh, things as you go. Let me see. Let's go ahead and run down here. So we have a couple things we can get rid of down here. What I wanted to do was just take a look and see if... Oops, not floors. Let's go back. I wanted to see if I could place some resources down here so sometimes you can place like a vault tech water pump oh shit I don't have enough screws so I won't be able to find out but it's okay if we can build these we can probably build okay so we can build some water purifiers but this is a land purifier isn't it I think this is nope must be placed in the water okay there's a land version as well that it gets installed right here water condenser um, I, th I believe that's from USO so you can install these let me guess I'm gonna or I'm going to guess I mean we might be able to hook them up. We might not. Let's see. Let's try to hook it up. Oops. Nope. That's not what I want. I wanted power conduit. No, I didn't. What do I want? I want connectors and switches. That's what I want. Sorry. I am clearly an idiot. Okay. Let's go ahead. And... Yep. It'll connect up. So it looks like we, we can use functional water here. We don't really need that water pump there. Can't imagine that. The water pump takes up a good a good bit of room. And if you're going to want to place food here, of course, using your uh, your gardening kind of abilities. Let me see. Let's go to your planters. That's probably going to be your best bet. I often have trouble placing planters on things, so we can place our planters here. That works. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can actually place some settlement... Uh, let me see. What's the word I'm looking for? If we can actually place this, the recruitment. That's the word I'm looking for. The recruitment radio beacon. Let's see if it'll actually bring anyone in. I, I could, again, use USO and just uh, bring people here right away. I don't want to do that because I want to see if they'll actually come. Um, other than me just sticking them here. So let me do this. Oop, not children's. Let me go ahead and place a bed. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. See if they come on their own. Again, not going to use the, the settlement beacon uh, spawner just because I, I want to make sure that this would actually be usable. So let's go ahead and check it out. I will go ahead and skip to when I get back because it's going to take me at least 72 hours to probably attract someone. So I'll see you guys back in just a second. All right, guys, so here's our dude. Alejandro showed up for us. Let's see. Uh, he's already assigned to planting here. So we did have a dude show up. So we can use this so far as a settlement. Let's go ahead and see if we can send him somewhere else. Can we supply line him? Yeah. So, I mean, it's called a player home, guys. But realistically, this is actually going to work as a settlement itself. Let me just, for the fuck of it, go ahead and send him to Boston Airport. Now I should be able to build whatever the hell I want. So if you remember earlier, we couldn't build that uh, vault tech. Let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. There we go. Couldn't build the vault tech water pump. So let's check this out. Usually you can find a place to play it as a, or place it. Yep. So you can have quite a bit ton of water here. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's that's yeah. It's a fully functional settlement. So you can actually use the the oil rig as a settlement, not just a player home, which is actually a lot more exciting for someone like me, since that's what I like to build. I like to build settlements. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm not gonna do a build of this yet. Um, 
just right now it's it would take me forever so we're going to go ahead i just wanted to show you the actual settlement itself so if you guys are interested in downloading this remember it is called the oil rig player home again this is on ps4 this is the ps4 version now it does have an xbox and pc version and the mod author themselves said they weren't sure if it was going to work on ps4 it is working on ps4 so i absolutely suggest that if you like this if you like the idea i know i certainly want to build the hell out of this i think it would be kind of cool to build on it i, I think it would just it's a different area it's a different area it's a different challenge it's got some small corridors i think it could be a really cool place to build and you can get back to the mainland from here uh real quick before we leave though let's go ahead and pull up that pit boy so it says that we're out here it, does, it doesn't actually show where we are it, it populates us by fort strong so obviously this is pretty far off the map pretty cool though for for a settlement mod i'm actually really digging this so As far as a download it or don't, guys, if this is something that you want to build on, this is something you think that you'd like to build with, I say go for it. I think it's actually a pretty cool little settlement. There's quite a bit that we could delete. We could definitely deal with a lot of stuff. We can add, you know, to the bottom there. We can actually build a pretty good, if you look at the size there, it's actually not a bad size settlement. We can do a lot of different stuff in this area. I think it's kind of a cool place. So if you are a settlement builder and you like to have your settlements like I do, I would say definitely as far as a download it or don't, I'd say go for it. That said, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. It really does mean a lot to me. I know that sometimes I don't, I don't think I can thank you guys enough. I don't really quite know what to say sometimes, but hopefully you guys know how much I appreciate you being here. Seriously, it really does mean the world to me, guys. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Not only does that mean the world to me, guys, it also helps other people get to see the videos because they show up. They show up when people are looking for mod reviews, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could do that for me. Also, guys, it really is a great motivation to keep me going, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you'd like to, there should be a picture on your screen right now of my avatar which is my big dumb head go ahead and click on that that'll subscribe you to the channel otherwise there should also be a link to all of my fallout 4 videos and a nice beautiful playlist there for you also on your screen is a video that youtube thinks that you'd like based on your browsing history because your computer is watching you so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys i'll see you in the next one